Hello and welcome to the second video in my series on how to draw and paint a portrait. In today's video, I will be demonstrating the correct way in which to accurately draw the human face. I will be explaining the bone and muscle structure of the face, which will hopefully help you when drawing up your image. We will be working from a photograph in this series. This is a reference image that we'll be using today. I have this one as a backup in case we need it for explaining angles of the face. This is where I have got some of my knowledge. It is a book named The Anatomy Colouring Book. I always recommend that a beginner portrait artist uses a book such as this one to help learn the proportions of the face. As you can see, the book is highly useful in telling the reader about the structure of the bones and muscles. Now we will begin the process of drawing. Here I am marking the basic guidelines of the face. These two marks show roughly how big the face will be. Now I begin to sketch a rough vertical line to indicate the length and centre of the face. Now I am indicating the points at the middle of the face. Just above the centre line is the eyes. Now I begin to visually split the face into segments. The face can be roughly split into three equal pieces. The first piece, as I am indicating now, represents the top of the forehead to the eyes. I mark a rough line of where the eyes will sit. For the next section that I am demonstrating here is the space between the eyes and the mouth. Here I realise that I haven't left enough room for the third section. If you make a mistake, don't panic. This is my putty eraser that as you can see it can be easily moulded. I break a piece of the eraser off and I remove the line. The good thing about putty erasers is that they make no mess. I finish off indicating the third section which is from the lips to the bottom of the chin. Next, I start to plan where the eyes will lie. To clarify what I am doing now, I will quickly demonstrate. This is a head with the vertical and horizontal axes. On every face, from the edge of the hairline and across the eyes to the opposite side, you can roughly fit five identical eyes. From the centre of the vertical line, you can fit one eye space, either side you have the actual eyes and next to the actual eyes you can fit one eye space on either side. Now we will mark where the pupil of the eyes lie.
An easy trick to know is that no matter what, the pupils always line up with the corners of the mouth when the eyes are facing forward. Here I use my eraser again as I realise the mouth is a little too high before. I also slightly increase the line for the forehead. I join the two points of the mouth to create the gap in the lip. From here, look closely at your reference image and draw the lines of the lips symmetrically on both sides of the vertical axes. The nose will lie halfway between the eyes and the mouth. Now we will begin the eyes. Here I am demonstrating the eye socket. A tip to make note of is that the corner of each eye lies directly with the edge of the nostril. I quickly draw the edge of the eyes. To demonstrate the average shape of an eye, I sketch roughly what an eye looks like. Carefully look at your reference image and finish off the eyes. I finish by defining the face and cheekbones. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something today from my video. In the next video, I'll be teaching you how to begin the painting process. Stay tuned and don't forget to visit my page at www.facebook.com forward slash Holly J. Portraiture.